Welcome, everybody. This is so exciting because I get to show you all the cool, really nice Jayco trailers that we carry. This one over here is the 174BH. stands for bunkhouse. This is a fiberglass unit. And the cool thing about this is it weighs 3,281 in pounds. So this can be pulled very easily with a half-ton truck, a small SUV, uh, the Toyota Tacomas, uh, Nissans, and so forth. It's a full fiberglass body trailer, single axle. And some of the great features on here is they have the Goodyear tires, not the Japanese tires. These are the American-made Goodyear tires that are on here with a six-year factory warranty. Plus, you'll notice on all Jayco's, this up here is galvanized steel. And the reason behind that, you know, when you have trailers, you've seen road tires on the road, you know, they've gotten uh, blown up. Well, this keeps from damaging your trailer up here, okay? We've got an outside plug out here that you can plug in a TV set, uh, watch the ball games. And I put the awning out just a little bit so you can see the light out there. This is electric. All it does is take a finger, a finger to open it up. And you've got your beautiful lights up there that don't attract the bugs and all, but gives your campsite a really nice ambience light. Okay? Let's go inside right quick. Now, this has a short queen bed in here. Okay? Two people right there. Plus, these are one of the few trailers that actually have the front window still. Okay? You have a two-person dinette here that will fold down to a small bed, you know, if you want to take the grandkids with you. You've got some pretty good counter space up here for cooking some vittles. Two-burner stove. Freezer down here with an ice box. And you got to hold your tongue just right to get it open. And the cool thing is this will run off electricity and propane, too. Okay? Now, the bunks over here, you've got two of them. And the cool thing about a Jayco is you won't find any pressed wood in a Jayco. Everything's plywood. So these bunks up here will hold up to 300 pounds. So if you want to crawl up here and read a book with your, with your daughter or grandson, you can because it will hold you. they got lights in them, and they've also got the plugs down here, so that way they can plug in their iPads, their toys, and so forth. Okay? The restroom back here, I'll move out of the way for Brian to get in there, has got a nice shower. It's got a little bitty tub in there, so if you've got small ones in there, you can give them a bath. And with Jayco, you have a two-year factory warranty with this. So that means Jayco goes with you for two camping seasons. Look at the storage in here, too. You've got lots of room for groceries in this. You've got a microwave, the two-burner stove. And one thing that's real, real important to know about a Jayco is they don't use staples, okay? If you open up a lot of cabinets of other people's coaches, you'll notice up here, if you see staples run, Jayco is all screws and wood, okay? If you'll notice, I can pull on that, and that's not coming off the road, okay? That's not coming off the wall. Because when you get on the highway, there's a tornado going on here. Lots of stuff happening in and out of here, okay? You've got an AM, FM radio up here that you can Bluetooth, Okay, which is cool. You can mount a TV over here if you so, if you like to. All your controls are very nice right in here. Okay, your tanks, hot water heater, electric, gas, your GFI plug for the kitchen. Uh, and this unit is also wired for solar. So if you want to put a 190 watt panel up there, you could actually get six to seven days camping on solar power alone. Now, the only thing the solar power won't run is your microwave and your AC, of course. Now, last but not least, we are in Texas, and even though it gets cold, it does get hot during the summertime. This is a 13.5 BTU air conditioning. And, folks, this will cool you down those hot summer nights and hot summer days. Okay? Let's go move outside. Uh, Vought's been here 45 years, same location, second generation. Uh, and the one thing about it, too, is that I'm, I'm, a, I'm an RVer. My wife and I have RVed for 38 years. So when you come to see me, my name's right down there in my phone number, I can help you out with anything you want to do. One other thing I want to mention, all Jayco's roofs will withstand 4,500 pounds. Well, why is that? Well, 30% of Jayco's merchandise goes to Alaska and Canada, so it has to support the snowfall up there. Now, the trailer coming up right now is Jayco's number one selling trailer. It's the 264 Bunkhouse. We absolutely have a lot of these in stock right now for you. It's a beautiful trailer. Look at the colors on that, okay? Now, this is also a half-ton towable trailer. 47.85 is the empty weight on it, okay? 
We equip ours out a little bit differently than a lot of people do, okay? This one has your power tongue jack. You've got the two propane bottles, and those are the sizes that you can run down to 7-Eleven and swap out. Battery right up here. And we include all this in your purchase, the battery, the propane. We don't do anything extra where you like a lot, like a lot of other places will do for you over there, okay? You've got pass-through storage right up here. You can see all the way through over there. And you can see the construction. You notice there's no press to it in there. It's all plywood, screwed and nailed, okay? You've got your stabilizer jacks down here. You can either crank those down, or what I do is I've got a power drill that I keep charged up with a three-quarter inch bit, so that way I can walk around and do all this as I'm setting my camp up, okay? You've got your power awning, again, with speakers in the awning, and your lights, like all Jayco's do. You've got your screen door. Now, this mount rat here, there's two of these. There's one in the bedroom and there's one outside. Jayco provides you with a, with a TV mount. I believe it's a 23-inch TV that you can take from the bedroom and then mount it outside, plug it in, or go into your cable or your satellite, whatever you happen to have out there. That's great for tailgating, football games, NASCAR races, uh, all that. Again, Goodyear tires on all Jayco's with a six-year factory warranty from Goodyear, okay? Galvanized steel just like the other ones. You've got a lot bigger storage back here. And you notice they got the magnets up here now, which I really, really like that holds that back up there. Look at all that room you can put in there. You can carry a lot of toys, chairs. Now this trailer, if you're crazy enough, will sleep one, let's see. Let's go inside and see. Okay, now you've got mom and dad's room up here, which is the, uh, the short queen bed, okay? And you'll notice over here, you've got plugs on both sides. That way you can charge your phones. You've got your wiring up there if you want to install the, uh, the solar panels. And you'll see the bracket, the, the TV mount I was telling you about out there for the bedroom. You've got storage underneath the bed. And what my wife does is she puts baskets down in here, and that way she keeps socks, towels, stuff, you know, kind of organized down there. And again, all plywood. And you've got a really nice up there. I don't know if I pointed that out to you, Brian. It's got that top on the bed up there for more storage. Now, this right here will fold out to a jackknife bed. Okay, it's really easy. You just pull this out. Just like that, and it pops right out. And, you know, that'll sleep pretty much an adult right there. I can lay up there okay, and it's pretty comfortable. Or what you could do, I have some customers that have actually put an uh, uh, air mattress up there, okay? You've got a four-seat dinette over here, again, that will fold out to a bed. And then you've got the two double bunks back here. Look at the size of these. Plus, you get the thicker cushion with them. Again, plywood. Now, these double bunks over here will hold 600 pounds each, okay? So I could crawl in there and, and read books with the kids if I wanted to. You've got your USB ports up here for the kids so they can charge their devices. Air vents up here. You've got a small window there and a little grab handle right here. But Jayco just really puts the little bitty details that helps out so much with this. Now, your refrigerator over here is a dual refrigerator, gas and electricity, so that way if you want to go boondocking up in New Mexico, you've got plenty of room in there, and you can do it because this will run off your propane gas. Now, we do have some of them that have the 12-volt refrigerator, which is a little bit more volume. You've got your stainless steel microwave, three-burner high-output Furion stove top, and then you've got your oven down here. You got double sink, more drawers and storage down there. And I'm gonna switch this way so Brian can come back and show you back here. Now the nice thing about this one too is the sink is on the outside of the bathroom, okay? So if the kids or dad or somebody's using the facilities right now, you can still brush your teeth, wash your hands, whatever you need to do in there. Has a five gallon hot water heater. And the hot water heater, you think, oh, my gosh, that's not enough hot water. It really is. If you'll do the military shower where you wet down, turn the water off, soap up, rinse off, three or four people can do a pretty decent shower within, you know, a couple hours. Now, this one over here 
you've actually got the DVD player in it, the AM, FM radio with Bluetooth, and you can Bluetooth this either inside the coach or outside the coach on your awnings. And then, of course, your TV will go right there. Again, Jayco, again, is all screwed in, no staples, real wood. So here's what I was telling you about if you want to get crazy. You could actually fit two people in each bunk, so there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You could put ten people in here, so you could take the whole crew with you camping if you wanted to. But it's a great trailer. It's Jayco's number one selling trailer. Uh, we've got quite a few of these in stock right now. Uh, my name's right down there below there, Matt Edwards. Give me a call. I'll be more than happy to help you out with it. And again, I just think that's a really pretty trailer if you look at the colors. Hey folks, make sure to give us a like and subscribe below for content just like this. And make sure to check back here often for a lot more content. Let's get back to the video. Vought's been around for 45 years. A lot of you folks that are here in Fort Worth have seen that name forever on I-20. 121, excuse me, 121. Okay, the next trailer coming up is the 28 B BHBE, and that is a beast. Now, this trailer here you can pull with a half ton truck, uh, like the Ford EcoBoost, that'll pull 10 to 11,000 pounds. This trailer right here weighs 7246. Okay? Now, something really neat about this trailer, you notice I'm doing this one handed, okay? This has the Moride step system. Boom, that's how easy it is. Pops right out. Has some legs that come down for the, depending on the terrain you're in, okay? This is a fully aluminum trailer. You've got the TV bracket, like I showed you before on the other one out there that you can put out here. You can plug it in, hook up your satellite up here. This is your, your fresh water tank. So if you're gonna go boondocking, this is where you fill up at, okay? You've got the cool looking mag wheels, along with the Goodyear tires again. Galvanized steel up here, don't forget that. That's really important. I've seen a lot of trailers we've come and traded for that the tires just totally ripped up the inside up here. You've got your power awning up here with speakers in there, and I don't have the lights on, but it has the lights that run through there, okay? Back here is really kind of cool. You've got entrance into the bathroom, okay? and a porcelain commode. Now we're gonna go inside here in a minute and I'll show you a little bit more about this, but the cool feature about this trailer is you have to, if you got the kids out there, this keeps them from running in, in and out of the trailer, okay? If they need to go potty, they can come in here themselves and do it, okay? Back of this trailer, you'll notice this right here. Jayco gives you a portable grill that you can spin this around, pull the cotter pins out, and you can hook up your propane with a, with a connect right down here. That way you can grill hamburgers out, and when you're through, you put it back in there and close it back up. Now, Jayco's really big on safety. If you guys notice up here at the top, you'll see two lights on this side and two lights on this side. When you're sitting at a stop sign and you're going left or right, that will blink up there, as well as the whole side of the trailer, left or right. So that way it tells the guy that's two or three cars behind you which way you're going, okay? In fact, you'll see him light up right there. You've got a spare tire back here. Here is your sh outside shower. So if you're at the beach down in Corpus and you've got sand all over you, you can take the kids out here and hose it down. There is hot and cold water. Your city water connection is real nice because it's right back here. And your black tank flush, okay? Black tank flush has rivets around that black tank. So if you're, they call them Klingon, but you know, you've got toilet paper that'll hang onto those sensors. You can hook this up probably after two or three trips and you can blow all that out to clean your black tank out. Okay, you got a roof ladder, and again, you can go on the roof on a Jayco because it'll withstand 4,500 pounds, okay? On this side over here, we've got our hookup. Now, this particular trailer is a 50-amp trailer, which means you can hook up two ACs if it's not already in here, okay? And again, in Texas weather, that's kind of a, kind of a given. You've got your cable input right up here, hot water tank, and this is a great storage compartment right here. You notice we've got our 50 amp cable in here, but you're right by your sewer system down here for your black and gray holding tanks. So you could put a uh, Tupperware container or a uh, tote, the clear totes, where you can put your hose, your chemicals, your gloves, stuff like that in there. And it's just right here, which I really, really like. Plus, they've got the magnets now. 
that magnet so much nicer than the little clip because I'll walk by there and I'll pull that off and pop that off, but with the magnets, I don't have to worry about it. Okay? You got your slide right over here. If you'll notice on the Jayco, too, if you'll hit the slides and the competitors, you'll hear a difference. Jayco's a solid, solid slide. This is the J Flight. As we go further down here, here's your pass through storage. There's your TV box, and there's also your uh, grill that I was telling you about is right back there. And we help you all set all this up. <coughs> now, this trailer, too, is wired for side cameras as well as backup cameras. So if that's something you really would like to have, we can add that on there for you. And that's really a cool feature. Now, it Bluetooths to a small screen, to a five-inch screen that sits on your dash, okay? So that way you can, just, you can decide if you want to look left or right or whichever way you're turning, okay? Super cool safety feature. All right, let's go back inside. See the bunks? You've got the extra windows up there that they can open up, as well as the escape window right here, too. And we're going to go in the front door. Now, this trailer here has a little, better, little bit of privacy for mom and dad. You notice you've got the wall right here of the TV, you got a coat rack, and then you go back into the master suite. Master suite. You've got storage cabinets up there. You've got plugs on both sides if you have a CPAP machine. Uh, you've got the TV mount in there. Light switch is easy to get to. And this trailer, I kind of, I really like this trailer. There's a lot of little neat features on it. Like right here, you've got a place you can sit down and put your boots on, and then you can open this up and put shoes in there too, you know? So if, especially if this is out of a deer leash, you know, this comes in pretty handy for you. All right, let's get some lights on inside here. There we go. And this has that full slide right through here. This one has the reclining chairs with cup holders in here. And the TV is on a swivel mount, so that way it will fold out so you can see. Has the uh, DVD player as well as AM, FM radio. And another cool feature that a lot of the bigger coaches has, this has the, the fireplace, which is not switched on right now. But that puts out a really nice little ambient glow with a fire on there. But the main thing it does, it puts heat out. So uh, at night when it's not quite cold enough to turn the fire, to propane on, you can turn this on and it takes the chill out of the room. Really convenient and very, very nice. So you've got your TV right over there. We've got a horseshoe dinette, which makes it bigger to put more people to eat dinner with. With The table's movable, so if you really wanted to move it outside or just move it around, you could. Or you could fold this down, and you've pretty much got another bed for another couple. And that's a pretty good length right through there. Over here in the galley, we've got our dual sinks. Plenty of prep room up there. The Furion three-put, three-burner output. Stainless steel microwave. And this trailer is equipped with a 12-volt electric refrigerator. Now, look at the size of these. That's a lot of groceries, okay? It, it cools better, and you've got a lot more room. Now, if you do decide to equip this with solar panels, that will run on solar, too, okay? You would probably want to put two batteries up there. And cabinets, storage galore. You've got a big closet right there. You've got four drawers over there. So in my case, my wife would probably give me this. She'd take the rest, you know. These drawers will also hold 75 pounds, so, you know, not that you want to put that much in there, but they're, they're good, sturdy drawers, just like you'd find in a, in, a, in a house. Okay, then you've got the bunks back here again with lights, core, with lights, uh, plug-ins. Has a screen, has a, a sheet that you can pull across, so that way the kids can have a little privacy. And I saw on a Facebook group for Jayco trailers that this, this little girl had decorated all the walls. She used little 3M stickers, and she had all of her pictures up there. She had flowers. She had everything put together. She put a little bookcase back there. It was the coolest thing I'd seen for a while, and I think I'm going to save that picture for other folks to see. And this one has the ladder that comes out, okay? So that way the kids can get in and out of the bunk pretty easy. You've got storage underneath the dinettes on both sides, like a lot of them do. 
The only carpet is on the slide over here, and it is puppy treated too. So if you got a little puppy over there and has a mistake, you're okay with that. Now the shower in here is a pretty good size, okay? I'm definitely not a little bitty guy, but this is almost as big as the one I got in my house up there. And if you get into a Jayco shower, you'll notice you don't sink down, okay? There's plenty of plywood and two by fours down here to help support you, okay? And you've got a porcelain commode over here. You've got the towel, plus you've got enough room where you can sit and close the doors, you know, without having to scrunch up in here like that. Glass door that pulls across over here. You've got your vanity with a GFI plug and your medicine cabinet in here. And again, you'll notice everything's screwed, no staples around here. Get that? And thank goodness everything's padded up here because I have bumped my head a few times coming in and out of a trailer over the years. Let's take it back outside. You got screen doors on both sides. And that's another beautiful trailer with the colors. Now watch this. Whoop, he's taking off. I was going to lift those stairs up and show you how easy they are to put up. Now we've got another trailer coming up, and this is the big boy. This one's a 34 RSBS, okay? Awesome trailer. Look at Ronnie's new truck pulling that. Doesn't that look good behind there? Now this trailer's a little bit more heavier on here, so you're going to want at least a good three-quarter ton to be able to pull this one. Weight on it is... 9,200 pounds, so you really would want to get a, at least a good three-quarter ton to pull it. Isn't that pretty? Okay, now this trailer is kind of cool. Again, you got the Moride step systems. Kind of, a, kind of a nerd deal for me when I go camping. When I go camping, I want to be able to pop open a beer, and I want to get the camp all set up. Donna's inside, putting the slides out, putting her little things together but I try to do it within under 20 minutes. And usually I can do it between 10 and 11 with my drill and one-handed, okay? So we've got the Moride step system. Again, your kids can pull this out. Look how convenient that is. Okay, now on the side, the entertainment side, you'll notice the slide comes out there, but your awning goes this way. So you've got your full-size awning that'll pull all the way out. So that way you can put your friends out here. You can put your chairs, your tables. You can mount a uh, TV out here again with the Jayco mount, plug, and cable. So that way you can entertain. This trailer is also equipped with the side cameras if you, if you so desire those. Okay. You've got pass-through storage. And there's that grill I was showing you on the other trailer. This one also has it. Now, the bigger trailers will come with the, with the taller bottles, okay? And you've also got your power tongue jack. Again, that's a one-handed deal, okay? Everything's push button. And you've got your electric stabilizers right here, okay? Again, the fingers, one finger to do all that, okay? Now, the stabilizers don't level it. What they do is they stabilize, they keep the wobble out. Normally, I have to do that first for Don and we even get in the trailer a lot of times. You've got your mag wheels, again, with the great uh, Goodyear tires on there. The graphics on this trailer, it's pretty. You've got your grill back here, your ladder. And if you would, if Ronnie would turn his turn signal on, I'd like to show you how that works. I don't know if he can hear me or not, but like I said, that bottom one will start to flash and the whole trailer will flash. Jayco's real big on safety. Uh, spare tire, again, you can go up on the roof, 4,500 pounds. And remember, with every trailer sold during the show, we're going to include a weight distribution hitch on there. Uh, that's a beautiful trailer. All righty. Now we're going to be bringing up a toy hauler. Oh, excuse me. We've got to go inside. Okay. I get really excited about doing all this. Okay. So this is the rear living. Okay. This is a great trailer. You've got a four-seat dinette here, and you can even get a table and chairs if an option if you'd rather have that. You've got your two recliners. You've pretty much got a full-size couch in here that will fold out to a bed, okay? Fireplace down here. You've got a bigger TV back here along with all your storage. And the cool thing with this is you're sitting in the recliners, you're facing the TV, okay? 
My wife and I stayed in one of these trailers right at the beginning of the pandemic, and it was very comfortable, and we had no problems with it. Lots of storage. And the color here is the modern farmhouse. You've got your dual refrigerator, gas and propane. You've got the three output burners, high output burners with Furion, stainless steel microwave, and the greatest thing my wife thinks is there's a coffee bar. Okay? She puts her coffee up here, her coffee cup. She can put her Instant Pot up here. She's got good-sized drawers over here to put her utensils. Cabinets up here. And these are big enough and strong enough to hold, you know, an Instant Pot. If you, want, if you so desire to put that up there. Now, one thing you also can do is, you know, Home Depot, they have those dividers out there. You can get more in there by putting the shelves in there. And then when you're traveling, what Donna does is she'll either stuff towels up in there or she'll put, uh, we'll put those uh, little bars in there that kind of keep things secure. Okay? We've got a 15K AC in the living room. Okay? All LED lights. Beautiful counter, beautiful uh, island, sink, cutting board. And this is great for washing dishes, cleaning fruit, vegetables, because you can just rinse everything off. And, okay. And boom, again, more storage. Put cans down in here. Pop tar, stuff like that. Stuff easy for the kids to get a hold of. And one thing I want to show you right quick, I won't spend a lot of time on it, but you'll notice the heat vents in a Jayco or in a straight line. You'll see other trailers where they're kind of scattered throughout there. This gives you 40% more heat by keeping in a straight line without making a bunch of turns and curves in there. Okay? All right, let's go. You got another one, one of these open up two over here again for both sides. So, you know, for two of us in here, we were in there six months and we had plenty of room. Okay? Down the hallway, all your controls are nicely located right here. You've got your slides, your awnings, your bedroom slide, lights, and then your tanks, okay? Your thermostat for your air conditioning and heating. And don't worry about a lot of this stuff, trying to memorize it all, because when you pick up your trailer from uh, Vod RV, we're going to spend an hour to two with you showing you how everything works, okay? And there's no stupid questions, you know? Now, the bedroom is kind of neat because you've got a walk-through bedroom or walk-through bathroom, okay? That way, if you have guests or the in-law staying with you, you can close off your bed and they can go to the restroom or take a shower. Again, a Jayco shower is something that just really impresses me. You know, this is solid. I had no leaks the whole time we were there. Now, I don't have much hair, so it didn't take me long in here to shower, but when Donna would get in here, she had plenty of hot water, very comfortable. You've got your cabinets over here for the bathroom. Nice and neat. Again, all, look at that. That's solid. Come over here and grab one of those. Okay. Now, the master suite. Whenever you have a bed in a trailer that goes like this, you're always going to have much more room, okay? This will come with a queen or a king bed. It has the uh, cup holders over there. You've got lights above there. They come on. And, of course, you've got your storage underneath the bed, which is easy to get. Notice I'm having to do a lot of this one-handed. So down in here, this is nicely finished out. You could even run a board right through there if you wanted to because that's the uh, storage compartment I showed you. There's right underneath the, uh, the uh, tanks, the, the, the black and gray water drains. So down here, you could put baskets, uh, boxes, whatever you might need. Okay. 13.5 AC in the bedroom. I'm telling you, when it gets hot outside, you close your windows, you close the door, you turn this on, uh, you might have to grab a blanket. You've got your TV that goes up here. And this is the bracket that I've been showing you on the few other trailers that we looked at. That comes off. It's where you can mount on your TV and you can move it certain places. Okay? Cabinets up top. Uh, this particular unit is wired. For, it is, does have the solar panels on there. Okay? So, again... With, with two batteries out here, depending on where you're at and your usage, you could get up to five to seven days just on solar power. Okay? you got storage here, and you've got storage up here. Some of the models that we have over there will also allow you to put a combination washer and dryer out here. Okay? All right. Big closets. Lots of room. Lots of hanging space. 
as well as hers. So I got a little bit. Donna got the rest. And you got storage up in here, too. Okay, Brian, I think we're good here. Let's go ahead and head on outside. And again, this Moride step. Look at that, one-handed. Put it up. Lock it in place. Pull your door closed. Isn't that a pretty trailer? Now, keep in mind, Vought's been in business for 45 years. Same location out there. Second generation is running it now. Uh, Mike and I are both campers. We do RVs. We've had trailers, motorhomes, fifth wheels. We've had them all. So we're really good for a wealth of knowledge on that. Okay, coming up next is the Octane 222. This is the Jayco's toy hauler bumper pull, okay? Now this trailer has a weight of 6260. So you could do this with a half ton truck depending on what the cargo is that you're gonna carry. Razor, dirt bikes, big old Harley, Indian motorcycle. It's, it's kind of convenient because now this one will come with a smaller bottles too that you can run down to 7-Eleven and change out or in your own backyard. You've got your power tongue jack up there. You've got a place up there that you could put two batteries if you wanted to. And the other side, it is a, has a generator place. Now, the generators they put in the octanes are the 4,000 BTUs, okay? They do that for size and weight. Uh, it will run, if you get an octane with two ACs, it will run one at a time. It won't run both of them, just so you know. Okay, you've got your storage up here, which is nice and tall. You can put fishing poles, chairs, you can find a table in there. I mean, I, I could find all kinds of stuff to stuff in there. And Jayco, too, does not have 10,000 keys to go with you. You get two sets of keys, each two keys. One open here, and one opens your door over here. Okay? All fiberglass. Get your steps peeled out. You've got your mag wheels on here. You've got a power plug on this side if you want to plug in a heater. You've got a big power awning up here with lights, okay? These are the vents for inside, so if you're hauling a bike or an ATV, you can open these up and it pulls the uh, fumes out. Okay, again, I'm doing this one-handed now. So boom, this one has the patio that this folds up and makes a square out here. You can put the little dog out here, or you can put some chairs out here if you're backed up to a lake, or you can take these up, pull the cables down, and you can pull your bike in, okay? Now there's two beds in here. You got your bed on the top, and you got your cushions down here. Those will come down and make the loungers and the chairs, okay? Or you can do them long ways. So you could put two adults on the top, two adults on the bottom, and then you got your bedroom in there too. So we're running inside right quick, show you a few things. Get us some lights turned on. There we go. Now, a toy hauler usually has big guys that come into them, okay? Or a lot of guys. So here we go again. We've got the bigger shower in here that's supported. We've got the uh, porcelain commode in here that still has room to sit down at. You got your sink and medicine cabinet right through there. Over here, we've got the, the master bed, and I'll scoot this out of the way so Brian can get in there and show you. And he can also show you the solar system in here. That's a 190 watt solar panel up top. This would be a great coach to take up to like Eagle's Nest, New Mexico, uh, Cimarron Canyon. You got your dual refrigerator, stainless steel microwave, high output fusing or Furion stove, cooktop, and you got two stools right here. This table right up here lifts up so that way you can have a place to sit and have dinner. And you'll notice the tie downs in here. These tie downs are very secure to the frame of the trailer. 
So when you tie your vehicles in here, you can tie them with confidence. Again, lights everywhere. Let's see. Big cabinets up here. This is a great trailer. I really like this one. You can also Bluetooth the radio inside as well as outside. You can put a TV up here. You can add a DVD player if you want to, or you can stream, of course. Uh, the height is pretty good on these, too. I've seen a couple guys bring in the tall razors, and it was able to fit up in through here. And again, you've got lights back here, and you've got your, uh, your Furion uh, backup camera. If you want, if you so want that, ladders on the side, and the roof will hold 4,500 pounds. Uh, crank down stabilizers. Just an all-around super cool trailer. We'll put this back up, guys. Thank you all so much. I'm Matt Edwards. My name, my phone number is right below here. Call me anytime. I've got my cell phone number over there. We do business the right way up there at Jayco. Uh, thank you all again and God bless. Thanks for watching our video. If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vod RV.